All right, next we are going to talk about the Atomo. So the Atomo by Gile. I think I pronounced that right. Gile or Gile? I think it's Gile. Jesus, cat's being a jerk tonight. Sorry. Um, so the Atomo by Gile. Check this out. So there. Thank you, Autofocus, for participating in today's program. Now the uh, the brass has grown a bit of patina on there, as you can see. Um, it was nice and shiny and brass-like when I got it, um, but I've had this in my hand a lot, so it's uh, it started to darken like brass does. Um, so take that into account when we talk about how this thing looks real quick. It's uh, Atomo, A-T-O-M-O. -O. So, the deal with this device. Um, this is the new release, the version 1.1. I don't know what the differences are between the 1.0 and the 1.1, but this is the 1.1. Um, it has two tubes um, for 18350 and 18500 batteries. It comes in a brush or a polish finished. It's 22 millimeter diameter. Uh, in 18350 mode, it's 65.5 millimeters tall and weighs 85 grams, 84 grams. In 18500 mode, it's 82 millimeters tall and it weighs 92 grams. Um, the basic kit uh, is 125 euro plus shipping. Uh, the PayPal charges are included in that, and the shipping charges vary depending on where you are. Um, you can get additional accessories. You can get a um, stainless steel top and bottom cap if you want to add those on for 35 euro. Um, so basically what it does is it gives you a, a stainless steel switch housing and then obviously a stainless steel top cap if you add that on. Um, it also, like I said, it comes with the two tubes. The 18350 tube and the 18500 tube as you can see here. Both of those in stainless steel. Um, you can also get for 13 euro the 18650 extension, uh, which also will allow you to use a kick with an 18500 if you want. This is the 18650 extension. Uh, and then for an extra euro, you can get uh, extra uh, neodymium magnets. And I've got a pair of them right here. That's two magnets attached to each other. Uh, and that is what is in the switch, those magnets. So, let's talk about this baby. So, for looks-wise, uh, finish-wise, I think this is an absolutely beautiful looking device. Um, let, me, uh, let me take autofocus off here just so I don't have to deal with it. Hold on a sec. The stainless steel and brass look together, I always think looks fantastic. It did look, uh, you know, I like the look of patina brass. Some people like the look of polished brass a little better. The, the brush finish on this is very, very nice. It's a very high quality brush job. Um, you know, it looks similar to the brushing on uh, a Caravella, for example. Uh, they are serial, serialized, as you can see, and laser engraved. Uh, with a Tomo and then number 74 is what this one is and then you have the Atomo logo on here as well which is also on the switch the switch used to look much nicer before I got my f my pinky grime all over it but that's the Atomo logo on the switch as well um, this is the version 1.1 if you're asking me that uh, so this is the newest one so it's got battery vents as you can see in the sides of the top cap there Let's show you what the inside of the switch looks like. You can see what the brass looked like before I got my grubbies uh, all over it. That's the nice polished brass look that it came with. Here on the inside you can see there is the connection or the uh, battery contact. Nice flat piece of brass. Now look at the switch. It is almost perfectly flush. It's barely recessed if even at all. 
maybe a tiny tiny bit and the throw on it is very very short I'll show you the throw with the battery on there as well um, so let me put this back on just so I can show you the throw with the battery on here this is the throw on the device okay uh, there we go firing not firing firing not firing very 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 short throw we're going to talk about that in a little bit um, so underneath the cap the, pot, the top cap you've got a um, a knurled double telescope pin uh, very easy to manipulate because of the knurling on there um, the thicker one, uh, or the wider one, I should say, uh, that's at the top there. Uh, that one controls the connection with the atomizer, so you can t turn your atomizer down until it sits flush, and then you twist that until it uh, makes contact with the atomizer. And then that second one that's a little bit uh, narrower, uh, but is thicker uh, top to bottom, that one you adjust to remove the battery rattle from the device. So, as you can see, hold on a sec, once I get this screwed on here, it's nice and stiff, no battery rattle. Um, I haven't experienced any. So, let me take a pull real quick, I'm needing a little nick. Um, like I said, it's got the battery vents in the tube. Let me see here. Hold on one second. Uh, the magnets in the switch. Here's the one issue that I have with this. Oh, actually, I should have mentioned. So this thing hits really, really hard as well. Um, it performs like it should. This wasn't a. This wasn't one of the. It wasn't like the D's where I, I tried it and was like, "Whoa, this is hitting harder than anything else I have." This, uh, you know, the, it hits hard, performs like it should. Um, this is, you know, it hits like a Chiyu, like a Caravella, like you know, um, a good quality mechanical mod should. The only issue that I have with this device is. As much as I love the switch when I use it, um, you know, it's really soft. It's got a really short throw. I mean, I can fire it on the palm of my hand if I want to. It's such a short throw, and it's not really recessed. Here's the problem. So because it's not recessed at all, if you put this down on a surface that's not flat, for example... I have uh, a mod stand, and on the inside of that mod stand, there are little felt circles on the inside of the mod stand tubes, okay? And if I put this down inside the mod stand, it fires under its own weight because that felt is kind of sitting in the center of the button, and it pushes down and it fires the device. I would be a little concerned about putting this in my pocket. Um, and having it maybe fire on its own because it is such a short, soft throw and it's not recessed at all. It's flush with the bottom of the, the device. That's me. That's really my only gripe though. It's impeccably made. It's incredibly well made. The finish on it is really perfect. I mean, it's pristine. Um, I love the logos. I love the engravings. I think it looks really classy. It looks really clean. Um, maybe it's a hair tall uh, for the battery size. It's maybe like half a millimeter taller than some other 18350s, but it's or half a centimeter rather taller. Um, but not a huge difference, and it performs extremely well. Um, like I said, so switch feels great, works great in use. Um, but when you're not using it, that's where I see uh, running into some issues. And I have had it fire on its own. Uh, on me inside of a mod stand that again I said had the little felt uh, on the bottom there and uh, you know I haven't put it in my pocket because of concerns that maybe it might um, end up firing on its own but 
it's a beautiful device. It works exceptionally well, and uh, and I think it is it is worth the investment. It's a really really classy, really good stuff. I'm gonna take another vape on it. All right, so. That is the Atomo from Gilead.